introduction. So I want to say a special thank you to Stacy who came in today. That's all I ever have in half, which means no coffee for him. Who made us homemade Kahlua. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fan of the year. Fan of the year. Okay. So Sorry, she beats all the rest of you. And she made us a cheesecake. Just saying. How much do you drink of this? <laughs> well, it has vodka in it, so. But she said, don't add extra vodka. There's already vodka because her friend didn't know that and added vodka to it, so I'm good. And the result? Cheers. It's, oh, it's so good. Especially with half and half. Yeah, you're we'll beat up in the world. Whatever. No. Look, I'm, gonna I'm on down. like an office chair, so I'm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fix that. Not nice. Let's see. Oh, we started. Okay. How do I get bigger? You have to stand up and do it. Chase used to do it. Remember, uh -huh. I, remember I'd be like writing people up and Chase would go like this to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go up. Ready? <laughs> okay, ready? Cheers. Cheers! Happy New Year! Happy almost. New Year and Merry Christmas! It'll be New Year when they see it, right? Uh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, so yeah. it'll be New Year's Eve, hopefully. Happy New Year! So welcome to Cocktail Hour at the Coop. I am Liz from Arrow Acres. This is my sister Leanne. We are at our parents' alpaca farm, Arrow Acres Farm in Wall, New Jersey. And this is our coop. It's our little farm store that used to be a chicken coop that we have converted into a store. I was fixing Chewing. my boots. Like, my <laughs> boots were all funky. They're hurting my ankles, so I had to pull them up. Anywho, um, let's see. I hope you had a good Christmas. I did. Yeah, I did too. It was nice. Yeah. It was nice. It was manageable. Wasn't like mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't like crazy. I mean, I was a little crazy, but not it's too very crazy. Very nice. There's something funny with my hair. Probably the headband. So we, do we want to talk about Christmas first or do we want to talk about our make-along? Um, no, we can talk a little bit about Christmas and then go into our make-along, okay. I think. So, you have it at the bottom, but. Yeah, but that's just because I had to write this giant list. Of show notes. So we did a new thing with our kids. We talked about it in our last oh, podcast yeah, yeah. where we had each of the kids. So Leanne, myself, and our sister Andy have seven boys. So we picked Not a name. Not each. There's seven no, Seven total. <laughs> it's a lot of and children. And they each had to buy for one cousin. So they go all the way from four years to 16, almost 17. 17. Next week. This Thursday. week. This week. So each kid had to buy for a kid. And it was really fun. It was great. Like, they were so excited to give the yeah. presents. Shay even said, I forgot I'm getting a present. Yeah. I just remembered that I had to give one. <laughs> So yes. it was fun. You showed I, the video of Grant saying teenager teen teen stuff. stuff. Yeah. What was the teen teenager stuff? Teenager stuff. You got a Giants football, a yeah. Giants blanket, and, and cell candy. patch kids. Awesome. I was yeah. very curious to see what teenager stuff was. Yeah, so that was really nice, and we'll have to do it next year. Yeah, I, I liked it. I, I enjoyed very, it. Yes. And the kids liked it. Yeah, and I liked all the people wrote their Christmas traditions. Yeah. I like the one woman from, like, where? Sweden? Yeah. The Swedish, Norway? Yeah, like, she they do a whole thing things. when they put it up, and then when they take it down, they have a party when they put it up, and they have a party when they take it yes. down. I think That's I really need good. a party. What? The tree? The yeah, tree. when they yeah. put the tree up. But it was all in a different language she was writing. I think it was, Swed I think, I think it was Swedish. She said something about Sweden. Yeah, that was really cool. And another person buys ornaments for their kids for college. Mm -hmm. When they go to My mother-in-law, I had asked her when they were little, she had bought them ornaments, and I said, can you keep them at your house? And so even this year, she bought more. And actually, she for, she bought them when they went out west this summer and forgot where she put them. <laughs> so she said, I have other ornaments, but I don't know where they are. And she just texted me. I found the ornaments. Same they were still in the year. luggage. <laughs> oh. So they have their ornaments for this year. All right. right, so let's get to the awesome, epic, exciting 2019 make-along. Yay! It's so exciting. So we had an idea um, of having some kind of a make-along, and we thought, well, it's a new year, so let's do something, but what should we do? And I saw a post that our friend Seashore Sharon posted. So about, thank you, Seashore Sharon, yeah, two weeks ago, maybe. And she put a picture, said she's going to challenge herself in 2019 and do more challenging projects when she's knitting. And I thought that was kind of a good idea because, personally, 
when I started knitting, I taught myself and I started 10 years ago. And every time I tried to, like I picked a new project, I would pick a skill that I didn't know. So I would learn something in every single project. And then at some point I just stopped doing that. And I just kind of knit what I know. And um, I stopped even doing some challenging stuff. I'm like, oh, I, yeah, I, I just don't want to, I, I just don't want to do basic. it. So I thought, why not learn something new? Because I think learning is important. And all the things that you've said you've wanted to make and you've always wanted to try, but you just don't, let's do a new to you make along. So it can be a technique. It could be a new craft. It could be anything. Anything. Like if you are an, a great knitter, but you've never made a sweater and you've been thinking about making a sweater, make a sweater. I have crocheted forever and I've never made a big garment. So I'm making a poncho. Something that's going to take you more than a day. <laughs> yes. I'm already not enjoying it. <laughs> it's not done yet. You've yeah. been working on it for like three days and you're yes. already annoyed. Yes. Yeah. So I'll be doing hats and scarves for a day <laughs> and then I'm going to pick it back up for a day yeah. and then I'm going to make something else yeah. and then I'm going to pick it back up. So that's my plan. Yeah. So when we were, Liz and I were talking about it and I said, well, what if we ask some of our friends to be co-hosts and be part of it too? to add you know, prizes and make it fun. So we asked um, some friends and now we have our friends as friends and we wanted to make new friends. So yes. we have asked podcasters that we enjoy watching. Yes. Our friends have asked their podcaster maker friends and we have a total of 13. 13. Yeah, so, so it's awesome. I'm gonna read you a quick list of who the people are. Um, you can go to Instagram. I'm gonna have everything like down in our description in the bottom. Um, their Instagram names and everything like that um, so you can follow along but this is who we have the two of us Paige the framer not the farmer Liz Zimmerman from just one end podcast Allison from Daisy Lane Chevis from Chevy rail podcast Natalie from remembrance pottery Julie from Spe sweet sparrow yarn Mary Beth and Helen who are toad hollow Rachel from Treehouse Knits, Denise from Earth Tones, Earth Tones Girl, Earth Tones Girl, Liesel from Buckaloo View, and Tommy from Moonstone Dye Works. And so, if you, to enter, you have to go on Instagram. You have to use our hashtag. Oh, I get to wear hashtag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag. hashtag new, new to you, you Mal. <laughs> Not as good as the run. New to you make along. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> so to enter, it starts. January 1st, it uh -oh. ends February 14th, Valentine's Day. You do not have to finish. No. Nope. You just have to try something new. Hold on, half the peanut, oh. Oh wait, there's All children good. and people showing up at our door. All right, I'm gonna pause this because I need to tell them to stay outside. <laughs> All right. We should have left it on. You hopefully would have known why say, we paused it. You hopefully, <laughs> you were spared. Hopefully they say outside. All right, so what are the I was saying you don't need to finish. This is just a try something new. You may start it and you may say, oh, this is so not, not for, for me. me. Doesn't matter. Post a picture on Instagram, use the hashtag, you'll be entered to win. If, we are going to keep a running tally of that. Yes, but also if you're not on Instagram, like Purple Debbie. Oh, yes. We can't figure you out. We can't get you on. Anyway, you can go on the Arrow Acres Farm Ravelry page. And or... I I think some of the other podcasters are also going to be putting up threads on their Ravelry pages. It's not just ours. So everybody's going to have to keep track. Um, but they're all putting in their Instagram that it's on ours. Oh, okay. So you can go on theirs. If they're going to do a separate one, we'll find out and let you know. We'll but have it all for on right Instagram. now, you can go on Arrow Acres Farm Ravelry page and you can post in the thread there. Dad, say hi. Dad, you're in the podcast. <laughs> Um, so you can post in there, and I already have people writing where, oh, there you go, cheers, <laughs> where they live and what they're doing and what they've always wanted to try. So when you put your picture up, let us know what your new thing is. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What are you trying? What are you conquering? Yeah. yeah, so the winners, well, there'll be a grand prize random winner. We'll do random number generator that will win a prize from every single co-host so that's like 13, 13 of prizes. us right now and it's cool because it's all different stuff there's bags there's yarn there's pottery there's like i will probably do a drawing that i do oh they're coming in they're... the maniacs are coming in put it back put it back on dad fluffy's tail needs to go back 
Oh, Fluffy lost his tail. We, <laughs> we have a big stuffed alpaca, like life size. Who lived outside the other night? Oh. We for, last night? No. It was like Chris. No, it wasn't last he night. Li he lives he outside li quite a bit. We forget to. After well, a cocktail hour, he lives outside. We Fluffy was living outside and... because I, okay, I live right there, and I looked out my bedroom window like, what's going on? <laughs> Hi, I'm like, oh, Fluffy's outside. Oh, I thought it was an oh, alpaca. Thought, okay. No, I knew it was Fluffy, but for a second I thought mm -hmm. it was an alpaca, but it was Fluffy. Fluffy's a, like, life-size stuffed alpaca. Anyway, very cute. he just lost his tail, apparently. Anyway. So anyway. <laughs> the grand prize is going to be huge! <laughs> So enter, and then there's also going to be every single person that's involved in this is going to pick their favorite and send them. So you better make something good because yeah. we're going to pick yes. Them. So um, even if you don't finish, yeah, you don't. If it's like awesome, I'm going to be like, oh, that's yes. Yeah. And we're each going to send a winning prize. Mm -hmm. So come on, bring your egg. So you have a couple chances to win. It's not just one. And it doesn't winner. have to be perfect. No. Oh my gosh, doesn't have to be perfect at all. My beginning knitting is horrendous. We want to see something just, we just want to see what you make. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's how you enter and it'll be super fun. So, wh what are you doing? So, I'm we already started. We started because we can't be entered yeah. to win. We already started. So, we started. Um, so, I have a poncho that I love. I've always wanted to make one. I don't make anything. Oh, there's Harper. Wait, she wore a poncho to Rhinebeck a couple years ago, and um, she, I believe, purchased it at TJ Mar Maxx. Marshalls. 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 And um, every other person stopped her and said, what's the pattern? Did you make that? Yeah. She said no. And it was from Marshalls. So now you're finally making. So I'm poncho. making a poncho, and I'm not making it from a pattern. I'm making a poncho. Oh, crochet lady. So I have my collar done. So it'll fold over and be, should I put it on? Yes. So, I'm writing the pattern as I go. So if it turns out really nice, I could sell the pattern. <laughs> so if you love it so much. So far, I'm here. So now I'm increasing to get over my giant shoulders. It's like and a then dicky. It's, it's a dicky. It's a dicky. <laughs> I have a dicky for now. And then it's gonna have a little color work at the what bottom. What a weird thing that is. They really made those. dicky. Yes. Are and that they're weird? called dickies. <laughs> Why? Who thought of that? Who thought that was a good Why idea? Why is a dicky called a dicky? Why is a dicky called a dicky? <laughs> Cheers to dickies. <laughs> oh, no. So. Mystery of life. <laughs> it's the knit stitch, and then I'm switching to like a combo stitch and we'll see so far it's going nicely now that I'm into this stitch I'm happier no no I like this the knit stitch but I like things that go really fast and the knit stitch goes a little slow so anyway that's so my different new to me with that stuff and my beautiful Stephen Willett crochet oh, yeah, that's pretty. yeah we're different you like things that go like this and I Wait. want it to last forever so I have a nice little canvas pouch, zipper mm -hmm, pouch mm -hmm. that I block printed that I had all of my Stephen Woolett, my wooden hooks in because I took them to Florida with me. Mm -hmm. So I had tape measure, scissors, my all my wooden hooks, my wooden needle thing, and a couple Ricolas. My dog has a thing for Ricolas now. And what did he do? He ate a hole in the bag. <gasps> so while he was chomping, guess oh, what was in there? No. This one wasn't in there, so this one's fine, but the rest have little chomp marks. Oh no. They're all Ricola. Yes. So they all have chomp marks, but they're by the handle. Oh, so it doesn't so get they stuck are still in okay. Finny. One might need to be filed a little bit. Finny. I think um But somebody else's yeah, dog just yes. ate, um, Miriam. Miriam. Miriam's Harley. Harley. Mm -hmm. Just ate peppermints. And I wrote on there, my dog likes three colas. <laughs> Very minty breath, Rudy. And they dogs. do not have sore throats. <laughs> Maybe he was getting a cold. <laughs> <laughs> the boys all had a cough. Remember Dalton's little friend Nicholas? Yeah. They used to go, Nicholas. <laughs> and he didn't like it. He didn't and like And he had to like have a sit down with him and say, I don't like when you do that. He was like four. <laughs> I don't like, I don't think he even knew what it was from. Nicholas. 
Yes. <laughs> so what is your new to okay, you project? So I, um, Christmas Day, cast it on the Stephen West Speckle and Pop shawl, which was a mystery knit along, I think, two years ago. And I've been eyeing it up and wanting to do it. So I dove in my stash and I started. So that's not new to me. But, um, and I'll show you how far I am so far. It's really fun. Yeah, it's fun. Stephen West has a brain that I don't understand. Oh, is this all ends that you have to weave in? Yeah, thank God I like weaving in ends. Oh. But he showed a way to like carry them so you don't have to weave them in, but I didn't do that because I really don't mind weaving them in. I think it's a sewer That's in a me. a lot. It is. Make it a fringy. Add fringe to that side. No. <laughs> so anyway, this isn't new to me, but you end up adding stuff over here and then like a wacky, like weirdo print, like Stephen West-ish thing. It looks like a fishtail almost. So there's a brioche option or a regular. And I thought, well, I've never done brioche before. And this is right when we were just talking about doing this. And I thought, well, normally I would just skip that because I don't know how to do that. So I've decided that I'm going to learn how to brioche. And if I don't get to that point in the scarf by like end of January, then I'll just learn brioche and do a smaller project. Like maybe the Andrew Mowry Harlow hat, that's brioche. Anyway, and I noticed a lot of people put that on the thread that we have going. And that's what they want to make. I saw a lot of steaking. I saw people that want to yeah. weave. They've never mm -hmm. done that before. Embroidery. Mm -hmm. Embroidery. Carolyn Bloom's going to do embroidery. Making a gingham blanket. Mm -hmm. And also, and that's oh, so here's another thing. I saw on one of mine, I think on my Instagram post, she wants to do, I don't know what it was, but she said, is there a good YouTube video for it? It might have been brioche. So if you notice in people's threads, like, oh, I know good, you know, video, because that's how I learned all YouTube pretty much. Or like crafts, so you craftsy, can take classes. Or blueprint. Right? Yes. Yeah. So you can do it that way. So if you'll notice people need help, maybe like Please help comment, them. help, help them. them. So that's what we're, so that's why we invited like we don't really know some of these other makers that we're doing this with. It's so that we can get to know each other. We can yeah. meet more people and yeah. connect. On a different level. Yeah, right? so you had been watching um, Chevy, Chevy Rell. Rell. So I had She's never funny. seen her, and she said, should we ask Chevy Rell? And I said, well, I don't, I don't know who she is. She said, well, I think you'd really like her. Go watch her. Oh, my gosh, Chevy Rell, you are funny. She's funny. She would be our friend if she lived here. Yeah, I wish she we lived closer. She is funny. I really, 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 I'm like, I watched two minutes and I wrote to you, yes, ask her. <laughs> I knew in seconds that she was, oh, Yeah, I like man. her podcast. Funny, so go watch her. Yeah, and there's like all these people. Just like go watch them. They're great. And everybody's different. There's like super crazy people. There's calm people. So like whatever mood you're in. Yeah. Like I have people like I love a wooden nest. She's super calm. Like everything's, her music is beautiful. It's like dark. I love it. But if I'm in the mood to laugh, you pick somebody Rell. else. Yeah. I pick Amy Beth. Pick, yeah. So anyway, it's going to be great. I'm very excited about it. So, and I like bringing people together, so it's another way to do that. I'm going to pour more of my fancy drink. It's so good. I have to good. show you so, my drink. Okay, well, so. You, well, we did it in the intro. Oh, it's yeah. going to be our intro. Well, now it's down to here. It was up there, the intro. My mom's drinking some, too. It's not just me. It's homemade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but look at the size of my glass. Look at the size Her of glass color. is a little baby Dixie cup. It's good. It's homemade Kahlua. Now I have to look it up. I like it. I was ready for a beer, but it's very, but I need the, I like the half and half in it and Me there's too. no half and half. So I will be taking the rest of this little baby bottle home, whatever's left of it. And I will be mixing it with half and half at my house. Ooh, you don't need the half and half. It's delicious. It doesn't need it. Oh, it doesn't need it. So thank you, Stacy, again for our Kahlua and cheesecake. Oh, no. Oh, yep. That's still good. It's still good. But I liked it better with the half and half. Mm. I wonder if there's a little Ooh. in there. That's yummy. Mm -hmm. No, look how dark that is. There's no half and half. Mm. It is good. I don't know. All right. That might be my new thing. I'm there gonna is, learn how to make there is vodka. <laughs> oh, mom's gonna learn how to make Kahlua. New to you. <laughs> 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 our vet, our new vet is joining in on the awesome. fun. She wrote on Instagram, does it have to be knitting or crochet? I said, no, it's just something new to you. So she said she already ordered her stuff awesome. and she's joining in. Makes she me wants, happy. Yeah, she wants a, a community to do it with. See? Yeah, motivating. Yeah, just a little motivation. Or I saw a couple like, I needed a kick in the butt, you know. So Fun. anyway, so join in. It's gonna find you human prizes and just learn. Just learn, it's good, it's important because we're getting old and brains don't work so swift anymore. So you gotta learn new stuff. So that's that. What else we have so to talk about? So tomorrow is Chris New Year's Eve. 
New Year's Eve is our New Year's Eve and New Year's Day are our happiest days of the year. I think. I'll ask people, what do you do for New Year's? They're like, oh, nothing. We're staying there. And what do you I'm mean? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? You don't so, go sit with your family for 24 hours? <laughs> like we do? And eat pork? <laughs> In every single way you can eat pork? It's our biggest holiday of the year for yes. our family. It is cousins on cousins on extended cousins on once married, They're twice like removed. They're like fifth I don't know what cousins, it's six yeah. cousins. And right? we get together on New Year's Eve mm -hmm. around 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We go to like 1. Mm -hmm. And then we all go back at like 9 a.m. Uh -huh. and we have breakfast. We have hot hors d'oeuvres all day. All day. And a big, giant, fresh ham dinner. Yep. Like, with all the fixings. And we play games. And we, and we drink. watch football. And we and drink. And we do football pools. Football pools, like, you know, like little squares. Mm -hmm. And so you can make money. You make money and you eat. And we play left, right, center. We Best left, eat right, center. enough bacon and pork products <laughs> that a normal person consumes in a whole year. We should get blood work done before and after and see who has the <laughs> highest sodium. We had they had a weigh in contest one year. Yes, they did. And my uncle who does not drink, did he win or did he lost? He won. He won. He won. Uncle Lenny won, uncle didn't Lenny he? Or uncle or Bush. Uncle Bush. No, I think it was Uncle Butch. Uncle Butch won by like a pound, but he drinks. drinks. Uncle so Lenny doesn't drink. Pounds in one day. Fifteen pounds in one day. That's disgusting. <laughs> so fun. That's disgusting. And Uncle Lenny, I think, was like thirteen pounds, and he doesn't drink. Oh my god, it's so great. It's so. And much the same fun. people bring the we same bring stuff. The same, yeah, we bring the exact same food every year. Speaking broke. The scale, the scale broke. broke. I don't have um, gift boxes because I always bring them in gift boxes. I bring them on my. I bring them on my cookie sheets, and I have my name on it. Uh, they come on. My so, like, my Aunt Annie makes the little ham and cheese pinwheels. And I make shrimpies. And you make shrimpies. And Michael is bringing Aunt Connie's little, little hot, hot dogs. dogs. And tuna dip. I hope. Yes. Yeah, he'll bring tuna dip. Well, he said he's bringing the little hot dogs. Okay. I'm making my bacon French dip slice. I make, so, I make this thing. Michael said, what's, I want the little grilled cheese bacon thing. With the toothpick. <laughs> I legit call them bacon cheese breads. It's a piece of white bread. You cut the crust off. Cut it in two pieces. Uh, slap some whisk pride or like yeah. port wine cheese on not too much because if it comes out it burns <laughs> cheese in the middle and then you slap a piece of bacon you roll it in a piece of bacon and put a toothpick in so like the fat from the cheese is bacon <laughs> makes the bread all crisp they should be 500 oh, pounds they're so good some of us are 500 pounds but we really should be 500 pounds the way we eat they're so good i hurt for like two days oh after. i wake up on january 2nd Starving because my stomach has stretched like five times its capacity in the past 24 hours. That I like, I'm ravenous when I wake up on the second. So I'm like, where are the leftovers? <laughs> where are the little pizza bagels? <laughs> oh, pizza breads we have. Aunt Annie makes pizza yeah. bread, not pizza bagels anymore. Oh, really? Yes. I don't really, those are not my thing. Oh, I skip I those. I enjoy them. Yep. Mm, I'm making just, my fig pizza. It's good. We just hang out. So and much hang food. Out and hang out. We're so loud and it's great. Yes. I've only missed one New Year's in my entire life, and that was only because I was about to deliver a child. And I lived in Pennsylvania. I really did not see the reason we could not leave Pennsylvania and drive <laughs> to New Jersey because there were, at the time, two obstetricians that came to our <laughs> New Year's party. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, Rick said, we can't. I was on bed rest, first of all. Then I was released from bed rest. So I said, well, we can go. He said, no, you can't. I said, yes, I can. I can go. And he said, no, you're about to have a baby. I said, but Tom could deliver. Or his friend. Who's his friend? Yeah, Wendy. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy can deliver the baby. He said, um, no. I was so sad. I remember sitting on the couch. I was so sad. That's what sad. put you into labor. And then, I was, oh, I was so sad. And then the next day was January 2nd. Well, you know, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. I live in Pennsylvania at the time. And my mom said, well, I'll come out and we'll go shopping or we'll, you know, we'll do something. And I remember she came out and said, you know, I said, we shouldn't go far from home, right? Because I don't know. I think I keep peeing myself. She goes, um, maybe it's your water. Maybe your water broke. I'm like, no, it's not that. And she goes, maybe we should just check. So we went to the hospital and they said, you're having a baby. So I did go into labor. <laughs> so it was good. I was home. Although I could have gone to New Year's. So I really didn't go yeah. to labor until the second. Yeah. And he was born January 3rd, which is Thursday. And my son will be 17 on ah! Thursday. Ah! And in oh, New Jersey. Play the song. Play the song. Okay. Oh, where's your phone? I don't know. It might take me a second to bring so this up. In New Jersey. Yeah. Talk about how we New Jersey. We live in New Jersey. Because not all places are like this. At 16, you can get your permit. And then at 17, you can get your license. 
So Dalton has been driving and driving and driving and driving and driving, but he's still not very confident with his parking. Oh, <laughs> parallel parking. So they have been parallel parking all For weekend. Hours, hours and hours and hours. Okay. And while they were parallel parking. Okay. No, I was very, very good and I was very supportive. I've been doing most of this. I don't know why I fell on me because apparently I'm horrible at it. He doesn't like it. Um, I am going to be the worst when my kids have to drive. Okay. I'm gonna be terrible. I have a, um, I have, Rick says I don't have any, um, uh, when you can concentrate, what's that? Concentration? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, like, attention span. That one. <laughs> but I do, because I can knit a sweater for like six months. I have no problem. But we you have drove... to be interested in it. Okay, so my son is, how do I describe Dalton? He's a rule follower. Very smart. Very, very. Safety patrol. No, he's very book smart. Very. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Follows rules. He's a very nice boy. Really nice. He's just, he's wonderful. But he wants it to be, He ner he's nervous. You know, he worries. He wants it to be perfect. So like when he took the SATs, he practiced and practiced and practiced. Took the SATs, he's a great. School, good student. Practice, practice. So, driving, same thing. We have to drive a lot, right? We have to practice a lot. He wanted to practice forever. I was so tired, I lost my mind. So, while he started driving, I got a little punchy and I started playing <laughs> Let's see if I can get... I didn't play. I started playing this. I'm driving in my car. I'm driving in my car. He did not find this funny at all. He's like, Mom, stop it. I'm trying to concentrate. You have to help me. Pay attention. I'm parallel parking. There were a whole bunch. Oh, I just kept going and going, driving in my car. Oh, oh. <laughs> I did it wrong. <laughs> I'm taking pictures of him. He's like, can you stop, Mom? Please, I just you have to You do have a pic. Wait, was that on your personal page that you put him or on the? That was my personal page. And I was, that she was on my story. She had a funny one of them. She was like. He's got it now. And then today, so, um, we, and apparently he's going to the strictest, um, testing place in the state, which the poor guy, like this really nice guy stopped us yesterday. He saw us practicing and he's a driving instructor guy, had another kid in the car. He got out and he helped me with the cones cause he knew I didn't have them right. So he's like, let me help you out. And he said, where are you taking your test? He told him, he said, Oh, that's the hardest one in the whole state. I was like, and poor Dalton's so like, so where should he have gone? Lakewood? Um, no, yeah, there, there's one called Airport Road in Lakewood, which apparently they're like, yeah, you're good. So Dalton said today. Uh, so anyway, yes, today. So if he fails, go to Lakewood. So yeah, 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 go to Airport Road in Lakewood. So today we were able to go on the course that there's no one on. Like it's closed today because it's a Sunday. So we practiced there and he feels much better. So then he said, well, if I bump the curb parallel parking, can I just tell them I'm a really nice kid and that I like to follow the rules and they'll just give it to me, right? <laughs> so, oh, so we'll see. Hopefully, he, I'm Cross hoping he passes. Fingers. And then if he passes, I'll be a nervous wreck till, I don't know. When do you stop worrying? Ever? Never. <laughs> <laughs> when they don't live with you anymore. Right? Yeah. College. But then we live next way. door, so I guess you still got to. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry. Right. Well, so that's that. So we'll see. I'll let I you know next podcast if I have a driver or not. Oh, and here comes the all the maniacs. So Come I here, think we're done. Do you want to say hi? Here, okay. okay, we'll turn it around. You go over there. Go ahead. Okay. No, you can't turn it around. No, nope. oh, I can't. Hold Come on. back over here. Okay, <laughs> stop it. And... <laughs> Come over right. here. Oh, okay. Bye, and Bobby. I told Are you, you to go up and wear hats and mittens. All right. Here's the little Mom. boy. Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What are we going to do tomorrow night? Uh, New Year's. But what are we going to do at New Year's party? What do we do? Pots and pans! Pots and pans!